The main objective of the Green Cross and Employment Program was to help contribute towards sustainable growth and also job creation. The program was aligned to the Sustainable Development Goals, Kenya's Vision 2030, the NIDA's Development Strategy, and MES Strategic Plan. Under the Sustainable Development Goals, our focus was on poverty alleviation, food security, gender inclusion, combating climate change, affordable renewable energy, decent work and economic growth, and partnerships. The main focus of the program was building capacities of farmers. And in this program, we were targeting 15,000 farmers across the various areas where we implemented it, with a focus, of course, of empowering the farmers to facilitate competitive, angry enterprises. On job creation, which was a main focus of this program, we had a target of 10,000 uh, jobs being created at various levels, at the production level, at uh, the SME level, and also at a service provision level. We were able to create an estimated 12,500 jobs across the various uh, 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 nodes of the value chain. Katika member miambili na hansini, members miambili, kwa sahizi, wanajisumamia kulima vitu vya pesa, ambayo wanapata mapato kulingana na kilimo biashara na maisha yao bado yamekuwa mazuri, wanafundisha watoto wao. Kwa sahihi, kwa sababu maji tusha pata hatungojei maji ya mvua, tunaweza kulima kilimo biashara kutokea mwanzo wa mwaka mpaka mwisho wa mwaka, tukapata mafanikio tukaika kwa kwa kikundi chetu cha makeregorei. Makeregorei, wengi wao ni kina mama wako three quarter. Zile tunahisi, tunaona hawa kina mama, mwishoe watanunua magari na watajikalia kushinda hata hawa na ume. <laughs>Wawe wanachukua maembe kutoka kwetu na tukua na pesa. Tukopewa tuka device, tuwe na cooperative. Kwa hivyo, tulijiunga eh, 2019, tukafanya kikundi ambacho kinaitwa Charia Mango Cooperative Society. Na hapo, Meseps ndiyo walikuja na mununuzi, huyu anaitwa Oferia, Batona and Bamba. The way we work with rural small scale farmers, is through outgrowers, or what you call is um, subcontract scheme. So we train them, we introduce all the advanced methods on um, mango agronomy and uh, integrated pest management, because the quality of the product that we do is only as good as the quality of the fresh fruit we buy. The company has had very strong social motivations right at the start. Private business should be the catalyst for development. And working with rural small-scale farmers enables us to provide those farmers ready access to market. So in other words, when we work with rural small-scale farmers, we not only train them, but we also provide all the support to ensure that they deliver to us the quality fruit that we need for our product. To facilitate access to the export market, we were able to support the certification of 3,700 
uh, farmers out of a target of 3200 which is a 100% achievement na walipo tupata sisi tunafanya fresh beans kama soko na kitu cha kwanza walio tufanyia ni kutufanyia grow pongafu. Hiyo ni kutupatia certificate ambayo inaweza kutufanya tuingie kwa soko. Ile certificate yetu ya fair trade ikienda ngambo tunapata premiums. Baadhi hizo premiums zinakuja kwa kikundi, zinasaidia kikundi pamoja na community. Mwaka jana tulipata premiums ya around 1.5 million on farmer engagement. Whereas the, the program was targeting engagement of 15,000 farmers across the value chains or counties that we are working with, we were able to engage 26,000 farmers. 80% of whom were actively engaged in various agribusiness activities. Kupitia hizi training ambazo tumepewa, tumeweza kukuza mazao ambayo yanapita katika masoko ya inje. Kwa hivyo hatujai pata eti soko zimekataa kupitisha mazao kwa sababu ya kemiko ama nini tumeweza kukuza standard ambayo wanahitaji. Alafu pia tumejengewa shed ambazo zinatusaidia kukuli ile mishiri kwa ile shed ndiye gari iweze kuja kwa uraisi kuzipika. In Kajiado we have linked Foki to Ilikisongo Sako whereby they are accessing uh, loans for, for the farmers. This one has helped farmers to access capital to expand the, pro, the production of fresh beans and also to make sure that they produce quality for, for the market. On financial inclusion, the target of course was to facilitate access to affordable credit to the targeted 15,000 farmers by the various actors who we are working with within the uh, program. I'm very grateful about Sumac. They introduced a new product to me for curvy rooms. The one they facilitate uh, biogas and uh, solar. So they installed for me uh, biogas and solar. And now I'm using them and they are very good. Actually, I have the cost to 80%. And also for power, for electricity, I can say with Sora, I'm, I'm actually on the safe side because the bill was very high. Now when I'm using the Sora, I, I'm even paying like 10%. We are lending uh, on Kawi loan. We have different Kawi loans. We have the Jiko Coas. We also have the, the, the biogas. We also have the solar energy and drip irrigation. That is really helping our customers, saving on time, uh, saving on also the money and also health. I want to thank MEF for being our partners and supporting us so well uh, so that we can uh, lend on uh, Kawi loans. The farming has, uh, has created jobs. I've been able to employ uh, three youths and four women. And I know uh, they really like the job they are doing. Also the women on the ground, they are able to to provide their homes with basic need, to pay their school fees for their kids, and also to buy cows. Also, I can hear from them, they open accounts on Sumac. They want also to be facilitated with biogas and Sora. On renewable energy, the target was to make sure that an estimated 30% of the 15,000 farmers who we are targeted are able to access and also adopt the various green and climate friendly technologies. Um, in this, we were able to facilitate the adoption of various technologies by an estimated 2,500 farmers. Kodago na NEST waliungana na wakaanza kutufudisha. Walipuanza kutufudisha, masomo ya kwanza walitufudisha juu ya biogas. Na mimi nikiwa member wa, wa Pondago nilipata na nafasi ya kupata biogas na hiyo biogas inanisaidia ina, ina kwa kupika na kufanya agribusiness. Sasa hata nianze kutumia hiyo biogas 
niko na furaha kwa nyumba hapo bayern mzee alikuwa ana shida akisema chakula inanuka moshi lakini siku hizi anasema chakula ni mzuri na kwa hivyo ningewahimiza wa mama wengine watumie biogas sababu hata ukulima wangu situmi yangu fataraisa sababu ile biogas sara inatumia kuweka kwa boga hiyo biogas imenisaidia kukata expenses za kulima na tena hiyo fertilizer ilikuwa inanidhuru lakini siku hizi niko sawa for sustainability purposes there was also a focus on building the capacities of local service providers and this we targeted 75 service providers and we were able to deliver 100 in terms of the service providers whose capacities were developed to be able to work with the various actors, especially the farmers. With the water shortage, the post-harvest losses are very high due to water stress. To avert that, farmers have been encouraged to harvest water when there is a lot uh, during rainy season, to use it when it is dry to improve their production and increase their income. We encourage farmers to use drip irrigation systems which utilize little water and produce more and even during the, uh, the dry spell. And with that, farmers are benefiting more. Bearing in mind that uh, human beings cannot survive with, without water because water is life. To be joined on a message to the stakeholders forum, and by the way, invited na one of the MESIP staffs, hapa lo itokto. MESIP wamekua msanda mkubwa sana kwa Iritech. Kupitia training ya MESIP, tumeweza kukua linked na wakulima, tumeweza kuinstall drip irrigation system, mia moja, ishiri na saba. Tumeweza kuinstall pia solar pumps. Mimi inapenda kutumia drip irrigation eh, kwa sababu matumizi yake ni rahisi na maji yake inapatikana kwa wakati unaotaka wewe mwenyewe tunafanya na wakulima wadogo ambao wana wanahitaji maji lita 2000 kwa siku na pia wakulima wale wakubwa ambao wanahitaji lita 1025 hadi lita 1040 on sales turnover of course which also speaks to the income the program had a target of 3.2 billion kenya shillings to deliver the 3.2 billion Kenya shillings in sales turnover, the program targeted a produce worth 80,000 metric tons. And this was across the various value chains that we are working with. We were able to achieve an estimated 90% of the sale. To my as a Kuvanikiwa Kamas, Albarga and Progressive Daily, Kodobu, Akati Meso, and Lueza Ku Mindafin. Tume faidika aswa wakulima wetu, sisi kama fiongozi, tumeweza kupata training, uh, kuhusu leadership, governance, management. Wakati uo tulikuwa na members, mia moja ishirini, lakini saisi tuko na elfu moja na mia mbili members. So already wakulima wetu wamejua umuimu wa kujiunga na cooperative. Because of the... Uh, the training, the capacity building initiatives that we've been able to execute in the region, volumes have significantly gone up. And not just volumes, but also quality volumes, uh, and thereby also reducing post harvest losses. And that asked us what we would uh, want to do next. We suggested we had better have a lorry first, so that we can have a lorry, we can transport our milk where we want. And that is when now they assisted us to make a proposal and uh, now the proposal was to get just a funding where we are going to be aided to get a loan at a very, uh, very low interest rate. And there we are, we got uh, that loan through MEPS. Uh, the role is here. It has done us good because it is paying itself. And uh, we find it is giving us something where we can pass that to the farmer. The prices of milk have significantly changed because before we came on board, the farmer would get on average of about 22 shillings per litre. 
now the farmers are able to get uh, 33 shillings per liter. In our country, we have coconuts, we have had them since the 16th century, but there are just two varieties, the East African tall and the dwarf. Coconut, per se, has so many other benefits. Apart from cooking, the coconut oil can treat many diseases. The raw, the raw material supply is low. So that is what made us look for an alternative source of increasing our production and productivity per se. So the answer, the solution is on the hybrid coconut. It matures within a short period of time. Unlike the East African tall, which takes five to seven years old, the hybrid coconut takes only two and a half to, to three years to start producing. This one yields around 250 to 300 nuts per tree per year. And this was made possible by the Micro Enterprises Support Program Trust. They were actually our savior because we have been thinking about coco improving coconut and doing some coconut research in this country. But the government has been unable to fund. Many donors also shy away from funding coconut research. Why? Because they fund commodity crops that they mature within a short time. And they took a bold step to fund this coconut activities, coconut research, and in, by extension, the importation of the hybrid coconuts. We have 20 acres of, uh, of the hybrid coconuts here. Uh, the idea here is to monitor because uh, we are still observing them. As a research institution, we are observing their performance. Ingana na pale mwanzo na sasa, atu kiangalia ii miche yangu sahi, uh, vile ina, inatoka, inatokelezea mikubwa mikubwa, na inaku, inakuwa haraka haraka. Si kama ile ya zamani. Kwa hiyo natarajia mazao pia atakuwa mazuri. As MES, we acknowledge and sincerely thank Danida for not only the financial support but also for the technical guidance that was uh, provided uh, to the team that was involved in the implementation of the program. Through this uh, support, we are proud to have contributed towards the transformation of citizens across the counties and also within the value chains that the program was involved.